Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel, or if you have not seen this series before, what I do is every other Wednesday I go through all of the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist, or if everything's a total washout. So I gotta say, things have been different this month. Understatement of the year, of the decade. So I, I have to say, makeup hasn't really been, like I've been using it, I've still been doing my makeup every day. I've still been, you know, experimenting and playing kind of like with, for my me time, right? But I haven't been going out and like looking up like makeup things. So honestly, if anything new has come out, it just has not crossed my radar at all. So I really don't know how much we're really gonna see in this, this edition of the BYO. I wanna be plainly honest with you. But, um, do I have any updates? I don't think I have any updates. My biggest update was really my last Pan That Palette update, which I made a whole bunch of progress with, and I found two ways that I can actually make the shimmers work for me from the palette. I'm wearing just the mattes from the palette today. The shimmer is not from the Blood Sugar palette, but uh, these are two shades that I've never really reached for, and I worked today. I, well, I worked from home. <laughs> And I wore this today, and it's a very pretty look. And it would have looked really pretty as an all matte look, too. I just like shimmer. So I threw, like, like extra, like, liquid shadow on top. But it would have looked really pretty matte. And these are two shades I don't think I've ever really used before. So it's very pretty. I also posted a picture to my Instagram, which I'll throw over here. Make sure you guys follow me there. I'm trying to post more regularly, post more of my looks. So definitely keep an eye out for my stories, because I'm definitely now during this quarantine time, I will be posting looks that I really like almost daily. So other than that, I chopped off a good amount of my hair. <laughs> I don't think it's that noticeable, but I, I cut my own hair a few weeks ago and it wasn't really even. <laughs> so since this is growing out, I just want my hair to grow out. What That's what I'm doing during this quarantine. I'm just letting everything grow out. So I thought, why not just let my eyebrows, my eyebrows looking a little bushy because I'm gonna let them grow out a bit too. Grow the eyebrows out grow the hair out. So I just chopped my hair into this little bob. So it was kind of all the same length. And then I'm just gonna let it grow out. <laughs> and whenever this ends, hopefully, I'm thinking early summer, late summer, I'll actually go and treat myself to a haircut. <laughs> Honestly, the only other update I think is not even makeup related. It's like switch related. I've been addicted to the new Animal Crossing game. But I'm someone, I've loved Animal Crossing since I was a teen, like early teen. I played the original one on GameCube, I played uh, on my DS, I had a DS, I played the New Leaf game I think it was on the DS, I've played almost all the games. So uh, I was waiting to buy a Switch until this game came out, which was supposed to come out in 2019 and it got delayed and I was really upset. But then I waited, um, so I actually, I bought the Switch Lite, I bought the game, and a memory card the day the game came out. So, um, it's been keeping me sane, it's been helping me connect with friends, and, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. And I love it. So if you guys play Animal Crossing, let me know down below, I'll be, I'll add you, <laughs> we can visit each other's islands, it'd be great. Alright, that's enough time, let's actually get into the makeup. I'm just gonna go to trend mood, because honestly, like I said, I have no idea what's currently coming out. Okay, now let's talk about this. So, Summer Fridays, which I guess is just like a really fancy expensive brand that you can find at Sephora, is coming out with a lip balm that is 22 dull hairs. 22. I should scooch over. 22. You don't need chapstick. Chapstick, bliss sticks. You don't need to spend that much money for a chapstick. So Linda Hallberg Cosmetics is coming out with this Infinity Highlighter in Virgo? Virgio? Virgio? I gotta admit, I haven't tried anything from Linda Hallberg. I think uh, from what I know, don't they have like duochrome shadows that everyone goes crazy over? I really don't know the brand that well. And how much is this? Well, it's not even out yet, so I don't know how much it is, but it just looks like a, a very average highlighter. You know, nothing really special or groundbreaking. Oh, so Too Faced is coming out with some more shit. Hmm. So I can't believe it took them this long to come out with another shade of their diamond highlighter. That thing came out like over a year ago. Well, shows how much they value that. And they're coming out with a new primed and poreless primer and a powder. Yeah, you don't need any of this. You really don't. Oh, Natasha Denona is coming out with a new mini bloom, like blush mini. 
her weenies are like okay i don't know everyone that i watch who's bought like the big glow palettes I've, they're actually like split some people love and live for them and then some people are like they're overpriced and not worth the money i have a couple of the minis and i think they're just okay i don't think i would ever spend like the 80 on a glow palette from her but if it's like a little mini like this i might pick it up who knows they're 19 though so even her minis are between like 19 and 25 dollars which is still like mm. I don't know. I think the shade is too dark for me, so I think that's going to save me when it comes to this, but, uh, nah. Is there, like, a Black Widow movie coming out soon? Because Ulta just released this whole collection, which is the Black Widow collection. I don't know. It seems kind of out of left field for me, but you know what? That eyeshadow palette? I'm getting, like, some subculture vibes from it. Hmm. And that face palette, I, I'm kind of digging the face palette. And it looks like they actually have two of them. So like a lighter one and a darker one. Ah. Huh. I like quite a few products from the Ulta Beauty like house line, but I haven't really gone back to them recently. I should try them out again. Hmm. Huh. I am intrigued. Laneige is coming out with this serum for $32. Yeah. I, I just, I find it hard to want to try more expensive skincare when I have affordable stuff that works for me. I mean, not now. I've had some breakouts, like, down here. They're taking a while to go away, but I think it's just because I've really changed my entire skincare routine and I was trying new things. But, other than that, I do have a decent routine. So, uh, I wouldn't go for this. I do like their lip sleeping mask, though. That's pretty good. But overpriced. Like I said, you don't have to spend a lot to get a good chapstick. Oh, okay, so this I actually kind of want. <laughs> I think I have these shades, though. I don't need this. This is another mini palette from Natasha Denona, and this is the, what do you call it? The mini retro palette. Oh, that's adorable. I. It's grungy. It's got some green. And by some, I mean two shades of green. That's all it takes to, like, draw me in. Make it grungy and throw a green in there, and I'm going to want it. I don't need this. That's $25. I have Natasha Denona shadows. I don't need it, but it's adorable. And if you don't have any shadows from her, I would really try... Ooh, excuse me. I'd really recommend trying one of these mini palettes because they're not as expensive. I lost my train of thought there. Oof, you saw that in real time. Because they're cheaper and they're a, a nice little mini way to dip your toe into the pool that is Natasha Denona without, like, maxing out a credit card. <laughs> All right, so NARS is coming out with this new bronzing collection for summer, which, well, I think I mentioned this in the last video. I haven't really tried much from NARS. I don't know why this ad is in Japanese. Is it, like, region-specific? Anyway, it's not coming out until April or May, and... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not reaching, I'm not wanting to, like, get anything really new for summer because odds are they're gonna be spending summer inside okay these tiny little quads are adorable i would look into maybe one of these Ooh, the dark smoky one looks really pretty these are from makeup revolution these are revolution pro uh quads they're 15 each i think that's a bit pricey for makeup revolution for a quad right eh, i don't know about 15 <laughs> Anyway, I love the packaging. I think it's a little extra. I think it's adorable. But for 15 yeah, I don't know about that. Again, okay, this is like the third, like, lip balm type thing I've seen so far. Is every brand is coming out with an expensive... This is $25 for a chapstick. No. You don't have to spend that much money to get a decent chapstick. Oh, I didn't even say where these are from, right? These are from Huda Beauty, and they're coming out with $25 chapstick. Cut. Yeah. Just get a Blistex or a chapstick. If you're gonna even use them at all. I think Jen Loves Reviews came out with a video about how, I guess, chapsticks and stuff really aren't that best for you, so. <laughs> okay, so if I look at this like a face palette, I'm kind of intrigued. These are from Tom Ford, and these are new four shade, four new shade and illuminate face and eye palettes, <laughs> excuse me. There is Rose Cashmere, Red Harness, Moonlit Violet, and Moss a gate where's moss a gate i'm assuming that means oh that's a blue that's not a green that's not moss anyway 
I mean, looking at them, they're kind of intriguing as face palettes. You know how much I love face palettes, but okay, let's see how much are these. There's no price on them. That's That can only mean one thing. They're way too pricey for me. <laughs> I don't know. I've tried out a few minis from Tom Ford here and there, but uh, I don't know. They look really pretty, though. Hmm. So Essence jumped on the bandwagon and is now doing a cannabis inspired collection and they're calling it high beauty like okay it... did you pay your marketing team overtime for that yeah yeah i don't know i don't really think i would go out of my way to try any of that i don't think i don't think i mentioned this last time so uh benefit is coming out with a new stick foundation or came out with a new stick foundation and look at that shade range that's all of it <laughs> Wow, it doesn't even look good either way. Why would you only come out? And they're $32 each. Why would you come out with a foundation that's this shitty in the year 2020? Why? Okay, so I feel like, you know what? MAC knocks it out of the park when it comes to packaging nowadays. From what I heard, like back in like 2015, their products were like the shit. Like they were amazing. Everyone talked about them. Everyone wanted MAC. I have a MAC this, MAC that. But now I've noticed that they really put a lot of effort and time and money into the packaging and the products are shit. So like I look at these products right here and I'm like, oh, look at that packaging. Look at that. But I then flash back to the Boom Boom Bloom collection. You remember that? If, uh, if I can find it, the Beauty News Girls did a video where they tried the highlight from that collection and it was literally just a glittery spray on top coat. It wasn't even a highlight powder from MAC. So even though the, the collection looked gorgeous, the products were shit and that went on sale like that because they weren't good. So I wonder, like now whenever I see anything new come out from MAC, that's the first thing that I think of. Yes, I still go back to try some of their foundations. I think they have some decent foundations and I like to get shade match so that I have a reference shade for you guys in the description box. It also helps me shade match online when I want to pick up a foundation. But I'm very wary when it comes to any of their other, you know, complexion products. All right, I really think this is, it's been slow recently, which I can only expect because I think we caught up to where I was last time. So let me try looking up a few other instagram accounts okay so mac is coming out with another fix plus which okay part of me is like oh it's a money grab you know they're just recreating the same fix plus they had before and blah 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 but one of the newer ones that they came out with with the new scents the rose that's like my favorite <laughs> one of my favorite face sprays ever so i can't really shit on them too much for coming out with like new sprays because i really liked one of the new ones so that being said uh this one is called the magic radiance what does it do is it just glowy and it's 32 dollars. normally their fixed pluses are 24. yep nope never mind never mind no where did i see it i thought i saw in somebody's story like a new anastasia beverly hills product okay so i could have sworn i saw something in an instagram story like this morning about like abh coming out with new liners that looked like a melt stack, but for the life of me, I cannot find it. If Editing Monica can find it, here you go. No, Editing Monica could also not find it. I don't know, did I like hallucinate it? I could have sworn I saw it on someone's story because then someone pointed out that it looked just like a melt stack. Ah, oh, I can't I find this picture. Maybe it got leaked. In that case, I feel kind of bad, but then also like confusion. That's, that's literally, I mean, that's literally what I thought when I saw that. I was just like, oh. Eh. and then I walked away. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna finish up this video by talking about Blush Tribe. So if any of you know the brand Blush Tribe, I'll throw a couple of like their products up here. They tended to do um, some really great eyeshadow palettes. They had some great collabs that they did. I actually have, where I had two palettes, I decluttered one, so I have one palette left from them. It's like the yellow green palette. Unfortunately, they are shutting down completely. They did a sale, I believe, or they were going to do a sale, but before they could do the sale, everyone who heard about them closing basically almost bought out the entire online shop. So at this point, I think they're shut down because they're catching up with those orders, but if you are at all interested in anything Blush Tribe, I would suggest keeping an eye on their store for the next couple of weeks because, like, once they're sold out, they're gone. So it might 
most of their stuff might already be sold out and I'm, I'm sorry if you guys couldn't get any products from them if you really wanted to and I'm just sorry that a brand like that was so kind of iconic like I feel like a lot of people knew even though they were indie brand they knew of Blush Tribe it's sad to see um an independent like indie brand to go down like that and I'm glad I've got the one palette that I really love left with me and I just I wish the owner all the best and I hope that uh things I hope that things go better for them I don't know that they're not talking about why they're shutting down the the company or the business but I'm just I'm hoping that if they're going through anything that this will help and that they get everything that they need okay so I feel like there really wasn't much to talk about this week <laughs> that's it if i've missed anything if you want me to talk about anything let me know down below and also let me know i might not do another be wow in two weeks if it continues like this and we've got nothing so i might do a bochinche chat and i need suggestions for topics for bochinche chats so let me know down below what would you like to see a bochinche chat? Tat, chat on throw all of your ideas down there and i'll pick a couple because i want to do a few more live streams during this quarantine time though i do know youtube is um stifling live streams so like if, if i do go live i don't think everyone's going to get a notification so it might be difficult to actually get everyone together i tested it out with the premiere it seems premieres are doing fine but i don't know about live streams so we'll see how that goes but either way i do want to do a live stream sometime soon and it's going to be some sort of bochinche chat but i need help picking a topic a topic that isn't about the virus that's currently happening because i think we could all do with a, a good hour of just not thinking about it all right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.